disclaimer, today's video will not feature any gameplay of Grand Theft Auto 6 and it will not feature any screenshots of gameplay. Rockstar Games have allegedly been targeting people who are making videos on Grand Theft Auto 6 talking about the leaks and so therefore I just wanted to get that out of the way. Today's video is purely for discussion and I'm just telling you about things that are already public knowledge. Therefore if, if Take-Two Interactive try and uh, file a strike against my channel in regards to releasing this information I will certainly be filing a counterclaim. If you guys want to get hold of me in regards to any of the GTA 6 information or you just want to get hold of me and get a quicker response than I do on YouTube then I would suggest you guys go and follow my Instagram. It's my personal one so you finally get to see what I actually look like. Anyway the link will be in the description. So in today's video I will be talking about things that you didn't probably notice from the trailer but let's just start off with some of the obvious things. Um, that we saw. So at the moment it looks like there are two confirmed playable characters and for the first time in the 3D and HD universe we will have the first GTA character that is a female. Obviously there were females that were playable in the very early Grand Theft Autos that were bird's eye view. Um, a character switching feature appears to be implemented into the game complete with sound effects and lots of people are saying the character switching appears to be faster with almost instantaneous loading time between the transitions. However I did notice that when we saw this gameplay of character switching, um, the characters were within close proximity of each other, so I wouldn't quickly ju jump the gun just yet and assume that the load times between switching characters is fast, it's just that the characters at the time of the gameplay being recorded were very close together, in fact they were in the same room, so you can't exactly say that the load times are quick between switching characters. Um, the engine and building blocks of the game appear to be built with the exact same means as Red Dead Redemption 2. Here are some leaked debug screenshots of Red Dead Redemption 2 before the game came out. All the information you're seeing here on the screen are exactly the same as we saw in GTA 6 in the leak yesterday. So the game is definitely going to be in Vice City and surrounding areas. We know this because on various metro lines and signs throughout the footage clearly stated Vice City and also the rear of a police car was uh, featured saying VCPD, of course Vice City Police Department. The keys will also feature in the game. During one clip of Jason swimming we saw a bridge that connected a southern piece of land from the main island in the game and this is of course known as Gator Keys in GTA Vice City. It was then cut from the game and never actually came to the final release of GTA Vice City. So it will be definitely featured in GTA 6. I believe the Everglades is going to be called the Grass Rivers. I think this because when we analysed a piece of footage um, where in one of the clips we see an NPC standing next to a sign in a very rural location, the sign said animals that can be found in Grass Rivers. So I think Grass Rivers is the location that is going to be known as the Everglades in real life. And on this sign we get to see some of the animals we can expect in GTA 6. Alligators, snakes, frogs and some various other creatures that were on the sign but I wasn't able to actually uh, see them with great detail because the footage was kind of blurry. But I also noticed in another scene where we see the main character crawling along the floor, not only does this confirm that we're now able to go prone and crawl along the floor, but in the background it looked like there was either a horse or a cow. So we know that horses, cows, farm animals and various other animals that are going to populate the Everglades or gr grass rivers are also featured in the game. Um, Stranger and Freak missions are going to be back. Uh, one of the voice recordings heard in the game, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything necessarily, but it's definitely Rockstar-esque because it was featured talking about Jay Norris, the social media mogul that's similar to Mark Zuckerberg that we assassinated in GTA 5. So there's definitely going to be Stranger and Freak missions that do reference things that happened in GTA 5 as well. I also noticed that missing person signs are available in the game, so this suggests that there will also be a new side mission where we can hunt for missing people and unlock easter eggs through those means. There's also an interaction menu for NPCs. You can now aim at people, press specific buttons to threaten them and talk to them, certain commands and reactions to the world around you, and I loved this feature in Red Dead Redemption 2 and it's great to see this returning in GTA 6. There's now a crouching animation and a crawling animation. Crouching appears to add more of a smooth transition in gunplay and stealth, especially when transitioning between crouching and hiding behind a wall or a vehicle. You may ask why there is crawling, and it probably has something to do with a much deeper level of stealth being added into the game. 
During one of the clips, I saw a CCTV camera, and the debug menu suggested that that CCTV camera in the game was recording at the time. So Rockstar have implemented a feature within the game where the game recognises that CCTV cameras are recording the player at any given time, which could add emphasis into stealth, it could mean that we need to wear masks and be more aware of our surroundings so we're not caught on CCTV cameras, and therefore could add an extra level of stealth required in order to get away with things without being caught. It looks like Jason and Lucia will work together initially to pull off small time jobs. We saw the two of them robbing a diner or a cafeteria in a more rural area of the map. It just looked like the scene in Pulp Fiction in my opinion where the two people in the movie are also robbing a cafeteria in similar fashion. So maybe that could be a Pulp Fiction reference or if not at the very least Bonnie and Clyde of course that was something that was leaked a long time ago. Um, one thing I really like is there's a much larger level of interactive items throughout the world. You can now drop your weapon, some police even exclaim for you to drop your weapon in combat, making this for an interesting way that maybe we could surrender or trick the police into believing that we have unarmed ourselves. But what I did notice is during the cafeteria scene, items no longer will just be instantly added into the player's inventory. For example, when the uh, cashier emptied the register and put the cash onto the desk, the player is then prompted to then pick up said items that they are given. Much like in Red Dead Redemption 2, there's going to be an inventory system that counts how many items we have, and if we want to carry more items, we're going to need to carry a duffel bag, a rucksack, and so on. Much like in Red Dead Redemption 2, where we could pick up valuables and so on. Speaking uh, about Red Dead Redemption 2, special abilities appear to be returning, very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, where you were able to walk into a building and activate a special ability where you could see all of the items in the area that you would be able to steal. It looks like that is also returning in GTA 6, because we saw the player enter a store, uh, they activated a special ability, which then made things glow in the cabinets that were able to be stolen, um, which I really, really, really like. Uh, interestingly, my personal opinion is that in the cafeteria scene, it was extremely detailed. Lots of people are very upset about the game in the state that they saw it in, but I think a lot of people are misunderstood as to how game development works. Personally, I think the lighting, the world, the vegetation, and everything in regards to GTA 6 that we've seen so far is insanely detailed and definitely pretty much looks like it's going to blow Red Dead Redemption 2 out of the water. It looks like the AI has been hugely overhauled, gunplay looks really great, the police now will actively avoid line of fire with the player, utilising cars, obstacles and walls to get an advantage against you. During the shootout outside the diner we saw police using rooftops of civilian vehicles that were parked to pop some shots at the player while keeping their head down below line of sight. So this means that levels of AI intelligence we've never seen before is coming to GTA 6. In another clip we saw a basic uh, police officer taking uh, cover behind a wall and it showed us the ability they have to take cover, peek around the corner and poke themselves out and take a shot when it's safe. Uh, the inside of vehicles seems to have changed too. It looks as though your visibility while shooting inside of a vehicle is now reduced to add more realism. However, leaning out of a vehicle is also available for a larger field of view and more accuracy. I personally really like this because it looks like you'll have the option to shoot out of the back window while within the car, which means you'll have a reduced um, visibility, but therefore you don't get uh, as exposed and you're at less of risk of being shot or hit. But I think this is also great because we saw another clip uh, where the player was leaning out of a window with an assault rifle. We also saw another clip where the two were escaping from a recent robbery and one of the players playing as Lucia was in the back of the car shooting at police with an AK-47. Also, another thing to note, things that people love are the ragdoll physics, and the ragdoll physics in GTA 6 look incredible. I think we can expect a mix between GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2 style fighting for this title. The way the NPCs react to bullets and get knocked over when they're shot looks just like Red Dead Redemption 2 and just the level of detail we wanted, especially after GTA 5 had such weak ragdoll physics. It looks like there's also going to be a limited inventory system for weapons, similar to Max Payne 3 or Red Dead Redemption 2. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to carry an entire arsenal of weapons on us like we were in GTA 5. Um, 
In regards to locations, uh, there is a large list of locations that are coming to the game that have already been confirmed, but probably the most notable ones are of course a place called Red Hill Forest, which interests me because it might mean that there is a large rural area similar to what we've seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 coming to the game. We also saw an airboat that was spotted in one of the clips as well, which also backs up our point that the Everglades or grass rivers are going to be featured in the game. I've spotted a few bicycles in a few clips. Um, none of the footage of police fighting or anything featured any helicopters, which I found interesting. It could be that Rockstar are going to take a more realistic approach with helicopters, having them follow the player from a very high distance. I also noticed that car interiors are insanely detailed. Some even have what looks to be working interior sat navigation systems on the dashboard. In GTA 5, uh, you know, mirrors didn't work and stuff like that. And now it looks like we're going to have mirrors that work and we're also going to have sat navs on the dashboard on the interior of the cars that also work and correspond to where we are on the map as well. So if we go into first person, if first person is a feature that's available, we can see the, the mini map where we're going on the interior dashboard of the car, just like in real life. Some other random details I noticed is your interaction menu ha now has a few more options, food, drink and miscellaneous items, much like Red Dead Redemption 2. The weapon wheel is accompanied by three options, weapons, equipment and gear. I also noticed in the gear section a pool queue is also available, so it looks like a, a pool is going to be a mini game that we can play in the game as well. I feel like I just spoke at a thousand miles an hour, but I'm really trying to confine this video into a decent uh, time frame so that this video isn't boring for you guys. But that pretty much sums up everything that I think you guys are probably going to want to know. At least right now, everything that I could confirm that I saw that maybe were smaller minute details. Um, I don't know when Rockstar Games are expected to actually officially announce the game. They have released a statement saying that they will when they're ready, and I'm highly, pre I'm predicting that it's highly likely we're going to hear some more official information in October. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry for talking so fast. I hope it wasn't overwhelming, but by all means, you know, just save this video. I'll try and put timestamps. And I will try and make the video edited in a way that you can look at the pictures so you understand what I'm trying to say without using any official gameplay or anything like that. Anyway, GTA 6 officially leaked. Amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. A bit of a shame that it got announced in the way it did. But anyway, what can you do about it? Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great time and uh, let me know if you have anything else that needs flagging up to my attention. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.